any devil to deceive you not to pay your tithes and offering. Because God said it plain that if you rob me of what is mine, then you automatically come under my curse. And no cursed person is blessed. Are you understanding me? We won't be under his curse in Jesus' name. Amen. So he said, pay your tithes and offering. And God made us to understand that the tithe is 10%. Please, be faithful to God. 10%. You cannot cheat God. You don't know more mathematics than God. 10% is your tithe. God determined that. He set that standard. You can't change it. When you pay 99.9%, it is not tight. The church might receive it, but God will not receive it. And until he receives it at tight, the blessing will not come. And that is why in the book of Hebrews chapter 7, verse 8, the Bible says, Here, 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 men that die receive tight, but there he received them of whom it is witness that he lives. So you see, you may give it here, but until he receives it there, you haven't given tithe. And God will not receive it until it is 10%. Praise the Lord. And so tithe is not a church doctrine. It's a divine commitment that every child of God must delightfully walk in it. You, you delightfully, you bless God, you enjoy doing it. Because you know he is the one that make it rich and make it poor. You know that he existed before he gave the commandment, so God doesn't need it to exist. It is for our own good. Praise the Lord. When you come to understand it that way, you receive grace to walk with God in the covenant. You receive grace to walk with God in the covenant. But listen, if you start from Malachi, Three from verse 1. God was talking about righteousness first. And this is where the problem is. People go to church and they decide to be faithful in tithes and offering. But they live a righteous life. They pay their tithes and offering. They sow their seed. And they go out there and live any nasty life. And they are expecting the blessing. Righteousness is one of the conditions to be blessed by God. That is why the Bible says, the man that fears the Lord shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The one that fears God, walking in the fear of God, in the righteousness of God. So please, church, here we don't believe in people paying tithes and offering and living anyhow. Until you are working with God, please don't bother yourself to give any tithes and offering here. I'm the pastor by divine election and I'm speaking the truth to you. If you are living your life anyhow, God doesn't need any money from your hands. That is why he said, my son, give me your heart. God wants your heart. God wants you to love him. He wants you to walk with him. He wants you to walk in the fear of him. He wants you to walk in the righteousness of Christ. The Bible says, as you have received Christ Jesus, so walk in him. You have received him, now walk in him. A lot of people claim they have received Jesus, they have put Jesus in the room, and they go out and do whatever they want. Praise the Lord. But we are not that kind of people in Jesus' name. Glory be to Jesus. And so church, understand, he is the one that make it poor. He is the one that make it rich. And God wants you and I to prosper. And that is why he said in the book of 10 John 2, from verse 2, he said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospereth. Even as your soul prospereth, beloved, let's go to verse 3. Verse 3 says, For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. Let's go back to 2 again. Beloved, I wish above all things that 
Thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospering. So, church, this is it. In the kingdom of God, your physical prosperity is dependent on your spiritual prosperity. The truth is that God cannot bless you beyond your spiritual prosperity. Otherwise, it will destroy you. And so, for us to prosper, the main focus is our spiritual prosperity. Are you understanding me? That is why God said that that may prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospered. Even as your soul prospered. When we are talking of prosperity of the soul, it starts with born again. Praise the Lord. It starts with born again. Born again. So until you are born again, you can't be giving tithes and offering to God and expecting the blessings of Abraham to come upon you. No. Because you are going to have to be in Christ for that to come unto you. That is why the Bible says he became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich, and that the blessings of Abraham will.